So guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to make clips and how to do the composition in those clips, like how to add different type of overlays, effects to make a clips more effective and visually attractive. So it's totally based on your creativity and the material you have, like how many overlays do you have, how many animations do you have and what kind of effects do you know. And by getting all of these things together, you will make the clips. For now, this video, we will make this clip. Let's go. Over here, you can see in the CapCut, I have added a background. And over after this, we will add our character. Now, it depends on you how you want to like uh, make the clip. You can also add the overlays before, but I choose to add the green screen animation or any kind of overlay or the character that I want to add before it's like start. Then you have to adjust the background. Then we'll go and we'll remove the green screen. As you can see, I'm, I'm using a green screen. So we'll remove it by using the remove background and the chroma key. After removing its background, we will go into the adjustment and we will remove the, uh, we will go into the uh, adjustment and go into the HSL and we will set the green color saturation and lightness like this so we can get rid of the green color completely. Then uh, what you have to do, you have to give it some custom CC if you want your character to be more like visually in better color and all these things to give a CC to your character like this something. And then uh, you have to make a duplicate copy of it and drag it downside because you also have to give it an aura. So for that, you have to duplicate it and then you have to move towards the video effects. Over here, I'm using my uh, a different type of aura. You can use whatever aura you want to give to your character over here. First, I have added the solution effect, then set it the object of this to the overlay. After that, uh, we'll go and set the speed to zero, size also to zero, and intensity will be about like 45 or 50. Leave the last to where they are, then add new video effects, which will be trippy ripple effect. Okay, add that effect, set the object of this to the overlay that we have used for the aura, then we'll go into the adjustment of it, and then set the intensity to zero, blur also to zero, and then horizontal also to zero. After that, set the speed to 100 and twist also to 100. Then we will add one more effect, which will be the uh, dreamy hollow or dreamy uh, hollow, whatever you want to call it. Add that, set the object of this to the overlay. Then go into the adjustment of it. So for that, we will set the glow to 30 and set the size to about 20 or 25. And then we will set the filter to 100 and the spotlight to about 30 and leave the rest as they are okay now the aura is complete but one thing is remaining that uh, we want like more white type of uh, aura in uh, our character so we'll move towards the overlay we'll go click on the character or the overlay then we'll go into the graph and we'll set the white graph like this to give our aura a complete white color okay so it's looking way much more better but if you want a little bit more glow in it you can use glow to effect to give it a little bit more glow then you have to adjust the scale of it to adjust the aura behind our character after that we will add some other overlays now it all depends on your creativity i'm using a chain type of overlay which is also a green screen so we will remove its green screen and i will just adjust these randomly i'm doing this as like a random uh, composition or random clip adjustment or random or overlay adjustment something like that so i think like uh, i should adjust it uh, right over here center no let's rotate it and adjust it like this on this side now i'm again telling you it's not pre-made i'm making it just right now then i have duplicated it and then again adjusting it now i think like i have to give it a little bit more rotation and we will drag it to hit like this over here i think this would look uh good and then again i will add another duplicate copy of it we will like uh, rotate it and adjust it like this i think the three of these chains are okay but uh after adjusting it i think we should add one more chain overlay so we'll make a duplicate copy of it and then adjust it like this over here now uh, after adjusting it you can see that these are like in front of the character we will set the layer of it afterwards so after adjusting these clips, you have to go into the layers option, okay? And you have to click on the overlay, go into the layers option, where it is, okay, let me search it here. 
and then click on to the right side arrow to bring this to the behind. Now do the same thing for all the other overlays of change to bring those change behind that character. Okay, and also it should be behind the aura. It should not be in front of the aura. After adjusting the layer, you can see that your character is moving up, moving uh, accurately and smoothly, but uh, it's getting a little bit more leggy because the overlays are a lot of a lot and I'm also screen recording it. Then I have added one more thing, which is like a fire effect, which will be used from the downside. I have set the slice of it to the filter and then adjust it by my thumb. Okay. You can also use the transform tool or the basic tool. It depends on you. Okay. And as you can see over here, I have adjusted it, the fire effect. You can also get these overlays from my discord. If you haven't joined it, so a link is in the description join the discord then uh, what we have to do we have to also add some more overlays okay now it all depends on how much uh, material you have and how much creative you are based on the overlays that you have i'm adding different type of overlay to give it like a good composition or a good like what we can say glow and lightning to our clips after adding like this you have to adjust it then i will again go to the splice of it and uh, set it to the filter but before that i am adjusting the position of it so i have rotated it and increased the scale like this and you will see that it's like in the front and it's not looking good but wait we have to bring this to the back side so we'll go to the layer option and we'll bring this to the ending like this so that our main character or the chains are adjusted properly now the reason behind added this uh, overlay was to give a little bit like by blue type of uh, like particles in the behind so we will set the blue graph of it like this so now you will see some of the background is turning out into the blue type of thing which will be acting as the blue flames or very lightly flames in the background now these things are not that much important but it gives a good look to your clip after that uh, if you want to add more clips you can also add like some particles or some what we can say some stars in front of it to give it a little bit more better look but until now it's good but you can also add these type of stars overlays or the circle moving circle overlays okay again the process is similar set the splice to the filter and also adjust uh, the position of it by your thumb okay you can see i am adjusting it by my thumb and you can also use the basics option if you want and also the color is depending on you. If you want a different type of source, you can choose a different type of overlays. And after that, uh, you can see that the clips is ready and everything is looking fine and good. And I hope that you guys have learned how to make your own clips. And I hope you guys will like make more creative and better clips than me. And also if you make those kindly text me or you can like mention me, I check be mentioned and thank you so much i hope you have learned something new in this video till then we'll meet in the next video and peace out